Hello everyone, Mr. Merkage here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a web-based Skype IP grabber using just an API. Uh, it's not actually creating the API itself, it's just using an API to grab the IP, uh, maybe if you want your own website. Um, the method I'm showing you, it works perfectly fine. Uh, you can copy it and you can add as many APIs as you wish, um, showing you how to get information from an, a uh, an API link and displaying the results of that pretty much onto the page so it will work for any sort of API which returns a value on it um, so yeah so let's get into it the reason I'm on hosting here is because that's the hosting I found which allowed this sort of thing to work I'm using just free hosting for this example and I'm going to be showing you a free API for people that are just watching this as like an example uh, but I tried some other free hosting and in the PHP config file some things were disabled which didn't allow this to work but hosting allows it so if you're looking for a free host that allows this I'll just go with these uh, obviously they're in the UK so I'm not sure if the US will let you create accounts or whatever I've not tried that um, so yeah I'm just gonna be using this uh, if you own your server you need to go in your PHP config file and I'm pretty sure you need to allow or open F U R L open and U R L include. I think they need to be switched on for this to work. If they're not on, uh, then obviously you know they need to be switched on. Yeah, so let's get started with this. I'll just refresh this so it doesn't log me out. Uh, I'm going to create a new, just a text file. We can just create it in here. Actually, bad idea. We can open this, and I'm just going to quickly save it as a PHP file um, to save it we can just call it uh, API and if you want to come down to all files which allows us to name it to anything we can just want to type .php at the end uh, otherwise it will just be a text file and let's start coding this thing so the good thing with PHP which I'm fairly new so excuse me if I get anything wrong uh, we can have HTML and PHP in the one file um, good thing with PHP is it's server sided code so it won't be displayed so people can't get your code or your links as far as I'm aware um, so that's why we use that uh, and we're just going to be using the form tag for the HTML and the method is going to be post just like that uh, post because post and get they get values from to and from a server uh, and we want the input type input type for this form is going to be text we want to create a little text box where we can type our username and we need to give it a name which we'll just call username and also uh, actually we'll just get into the more advanced stuff later on we just want the button now so input type equals submit uh, we need to give this a name too that'll be submit uh, and class is equal to button and actually I forgot to close this tag off just close that off like that and close that off like that as well uh, if we come under here well actually the buttons will be on the same line we should just put the BR tag and it will separate these two onto a new line we'll do it under here too just so it's uh, on different lines so that's it for the form we can close that tag down here using form and we'll put our PHP code in between here uh, to start this off we just need um, to type PHP and on the other line like that and we code in between here so basically what we want to say if if is set so this basically means if we pressed or if something's true or false or whatever it's like a boolean uh, we can just say if is set we want to use our button which we got here which is submit uh, so we can use post like this and we want to use single speech marks here and we just want to type in submit because uh, that's the name and whatever of our button here and then after that we just want to come down to these like that so if it's set we wanted to obviously do some stuff 
we want to get the username from our little box up here so we just want to set this to the name now it's going to be equal to host sort of same thing as we did already single speech marks and this is going to be username so now our username is going to be called name now in this sort of case and remember we got to put a semicolon at the end because it is uh, PHP um, we're coding different language now and we just want to do the same for result but except this time we're going to be using file get contents now this just gets like the contents of a file it's basically like download string in Visual Basic it's probably not the best thing to use if you're using this for like a big project where a lot of people are going to be using your API links you're probably better using something which is called curl or curl um, yeah it's basically more efficient faster uh, and sort of them things there um, but this this will do in this case perfectly fine um, so here inside file get contents is where we need to put our API link uh, we're going to be using a free IP resolver um, here we just shut that put our API in here except we want to remove the username they give because this is where we want to put our username now the way we do this is we got our name here which is what we're inputting so we want to add name onto the end of this link um, so if we put two curly brackets here and we use our little dollar sign and we'll just type name so that lets that know that we want to add our name onto the end of this link so the complete link will be complete with the name in the end pretty much and add a semicolon uh, and then obviously we want to display what we got so we use echo to put things onto the screen and we can say we can use name actually uh, we'll say name so uh, names IP and it will display the result so if you don't understand that it's basically saying if I was to input my name it will say Mr. Merkage's IP is and then it will tell the IP um, obviously if they're not blacklisted or whatever there's something I want to show you after which I got open in the browser too uh, we can display the image too uh, actually we'll do this after we'll just see if this works first uh, so that that should be fine it looks fine we'll save that uh, if we come onto our little file here we'll upload what we just made uh, no, that's it. Desktop. We call it API. Let's open that up. Yeah, here's our website. Excuse the domain. I just went for ear holes. <laughs> uh, so we got our file here. We go to API. You'll see we got our little text box and our submit button. Um, so if I just type in my name here, submit. So Mr. I, Mr. Murphy's IP is crap, no IP was found. Obviously no IP is found for me, but that's because it's a free API, it's fairly rubbish. Um, I'm blacklisted too, and if you look at this, which I was going to show you, which I was talking about earlier, is Skype have actually hidden IP addresses, uh, so resolvers are not getting new IPs as far as I'm aware. I'm not sure if Skype Diob or whatever has them or if anyone set up a resolver which work around how Skype have done this but until then I'm pretty sure resolvers are down uh, they still work they get f they get IPs from the old database if I'm correct if not I'm sorry let me know I think they're not getting no IPs until there's a workaround um, but yeah that's that sorry about that uh, like I was saying we can add a little image so let me just come down here if we use echo we're actually gonna echo a HTML tag here so if you watch my HTML series you'll know the image source tag already uh, the image source tag like that uh, source is if you remember it's api.skype and you can get uh, people's avatars like this so we want this link 
uh, we can paste that in here and where the name is obviously we want to do the same as our little resolving link up here so we want the semi um, not semicolons we want the curly brackets and we just want to put our name in here so it'll grab it uh, just like that also just before uh, this speech mark here we want oops backward slash and we need another one just after here like that and we can put a semicolon there we'll save that uh, let's quickly re-upload this file and what we should see now is it will grab the image of the user too so if I refresh uh, yeah so it's got my image if I was to type another username like that uh, Joe's IP was not found but you'll see we got like this big this big sort of gap here and the image is on the same line so we can prevent that by we can do it in the echo actually so after result we can just put the BR tag in there and that will create a new line down uh, another thing we can do is just put in here we can center it because it looks a, a, a little bit messy how it is make sure we need to close the center tag and uh, we can also uh, add a little title to the page if you really wanted um, simple resolver like that we quickly upload that again so as you can see it's a lot more organized it will get usernames images display them all uh, obviously you want a better API in here and like bear in mind what I told you was Skype banning it you can put this into any website in any form obviously this looks terrible how it is you'll need like a theme or a design but the basic functionality of it is working it will resolve people just don't forget it's a bad resolver that's why uh, it's not getting IPs um, so yeah that's it really I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see projects where you implement this in uh, and again this will work with any other API link you have um, so yeah that's, all, that's it really if you did enjoy it please leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time